In this activity, we're going to make panpipes. Um, you can see a version of them here. Uh, they're made out of um, bamboo. We're going to make ours out of straws. Uh, so we're you're going to need um, five, about five plastic straws. You're going to need some sellotape. Um, I'm going to use um, two jumbo lollipop sticks and two elastic bands just to hold them together. But you don't really need these. You could just work with the sellotape. Uh, you're going to need the scissors and you're going to need um, a, a bamboo skewer. Um, as well as that, I am going to, I've, I've measured out uh, the lengths of the uh, smallest of these um, pan pipes. And I have those measurements uh, in the description of this video. If you want, you can make this little thing. This is just made out of, of card. And I've measured the, the uh, put in the distances here for the first one. So if you want to try and, and tune it up, you can put this piece of paper in, this piece of card into each of the uh, straws and you can have it at the same distance as it is on this um, pan pipes. Now to stop the air getting out of the straw at the bottom, uh, we're going to use um, modeling clay, or in this case, it's a Play-Doh. Uh, so anything like that. Now, the only thing about modeling clay is, and I've used that in the past, is that um, it, the, white, um, so the white stuff gets on you, the actual modeling clay kind of stays on your hands, uh, whereas Play-Doh, uh, it's a little bit easier to work with. Now, most of, the, most of these things might dry out in the end, but that's not a really big problem. I've taken the smallest uh, eight of these pan pipes and I've uh, measured them out and I have the uh, measurements in the description of this video. Uh, now, what I found uh, helpful was I got a bit of card and took those measurements and just uh, put them onto the piece of card so that when you want to try and um, sort of tune up your um, pan pipes that you can just push uh, that little strip of card in there and uh, move the uh, modeling clay up or down just to, to get to the right height for the note that you want to play. So I found that easy. Uh, you don't have to do that. You can tune it by um, by by ear if you want, uh, or you can just play with it going up and down until you get the, the note that you want. You don't have to do that, but I found that easy. I want to show you how to make one of the pan pipes and then it's the same procedure for the rest of the, the pan pipes. So you take the modeling clay or um, in this case play-doh and if you put that down uh, on the table and we're going to push it and make it about a centimeter uh, high and then you get your straw and push into the play-doh and that uh, little piece will come out into the straw. Now what you're going to do is you could take your uh, bamboo skewer or toothpick, toothpick would work fine, uh, and you push it up. And as it goes up, then you can now put it whatever height you want on that. Um, so we're going to take the little strip that I, I use now, and we're going to go for the longest one. And in this case, the longest one, you can use the a piece of card uh, to push down uh, on the on the bit of play-doh or you can use the um, skewer to push up so I've measured it as six there and that's down at the bottom and now you can play that and now we're going to go ahead and make eight of them all together so we have an octave there so I've created eight of these uh, pan pipes um, the problem with it is is that if, if you put the pan pipes directly beside each other and then blow then the two uh, notes are too, you can't play one note individually because they're too close together. So what we're going to do is we're going to put them out and we're going to take another straw and cut it into uh, about width, the, the length of the, the width of the lollipop. And we're going to place that in between each of the straws uh, just to act as a spacer um, to, um, to get them to stick together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a spacer in between each of these and then I'm going to put um, put them together and then I'm going to put a um, push them down at the push them down at the top like this so that the, the, the tops are all at the same level then I'm going to put a little bit of sellotape on that so you can see I've put the uh, spacers in now and then I'm going to get the lollipop stick or if you're not using a lollipop stick just a ruler and just push them down like that and now you're going to get a bit of tape then um, to just put, keep them all together and then we're going to use the two lollipop sticks um, 
to keep, hold everything together. If you want to put another piece of tape the other side, they'll stay together as they are. You might want, if you're not going to use the lollipop sticks, you might want to put these spacers uh, closer to the middle. But I'm going to keep them up there just so I can see the actual um, Play-Doh um, so that I can tune it up. So I'm just going to put, uh, put them, the spacers and the pan pipes on the lollipop stick. I'm going to put the other lollipop stick above them <clears throat> on the other side. And then I'm going to try and straighten it up a little bit. And then I'm just going to put two, uh, one elastic band on either side uh, to keep it all together. So put it around and make a little loop and do that uh, twice just so it's held together. You don't want to put too much pressure on it because you don't want to narrow the pan pipes um, in so that they, they mightn't play the right note when you do that. So this is your finished pan pipes, uh, and then you have the spacers in there as well. So if you, I'll give you a demonstration of what it sounds like. Uh, now, if you want, uh, if there, if you find any of them isn't uh, the, to the right note, you can always move this up and down, and it will change the note as you play. So it is a tunable uh, pan pipes as well. Thank you very much for watching our video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to watch any more of our videos, please subscribe to our channel by clicking uh, the little red button at the bottom of the screen. And if you'd like to be notified whenever we release any more videos, uh, please uh, click uh, the little bell uh, button below. Thank you.